Hey, come on in here. We're going to talk trains. If you love trains, you're going to love what's coming up. The uh, Model Train Expo is coming to uh, Easley real soon. We've got sure. Jack and we've got Ed with us. Guys, welcome and thanks for coming. Thank we, you. We want to talk trains. Time, yes. What little boy and some little girls don't love trains? Love yes, a right. train. Right? <laughs> yes. Tell us about this event that's coming up next weekend. Okay. Right. This is a poster we have that's got yeah. most of the information on it. But a week from Friday, we will open to the public for uh, to display about 150 tables of merchandise, mm. some Whoa. of it antique. So we can buy, can you we can, trade, can we sell? You, well, you probably can because okay. there will be a lot of negotiating going on. I'm sure of that. In addition to that, we'll also have eight layouts, mm -hmm. two of which, actually three of which, the children can actually play on. We have wooden brios, and we'll actually have a Thomas the Train that they can race one of our members on. Yeah, that's wow. good, because you know how hard it is taking a kid into a train museum and be like, don't touch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I just want to push the button. Yeah. You know, right. So push this the is the big old church coming into Easley. What's the name of that church? That's correct. It's uh, Rock, Rock Springs Baptist Church. Right there, and kind of a caddy walked across from Walmart. That's coming correct. Everybody knows where that church is. Big and old behind church. the church is the Impact Center, which is where we will be. Okay, and that's Friday the 17th, 12 to 6. And then the next day, Sunday, that'll be 9 to 3, right? That is correct. Wow, you got a good place to have it. That's yes, sure. we do. We were fortunate on that. But you guys are also associated with the Railroad uh, Museum in uh, Central. That is yes, correct. Yes, we are the Central Railway Museum in downtown Central, 108 Werner Street, which is in the historic Morgan Allen House built in 1884. Mm -hmm. We have three layouts in it. We have one HO layout, which is our central layout. It depicts the upstate circa 1958. Everything, all the tr vehicles, all the trains, everything is 1958. Okay. And we operate trains like real trains are operated there. We also have two other exhibits, which are toy train exhibits, two most famous toy trains, Lionel and A.C. Gilbert, mm -hmm. American Flyer. Yeah. From 1930s to 1960s, <laughs> having a toy train under the Christmas tree was a, a boy's ultimate yeah. dream. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What is it about trains? It's just so fascinating. People love to watch them. They love to build them, see them go around. Well, the trains represent sort of bringing people together. Yeah. And uh, recently we supported the Clemson Little Theater's production Christmas Express, a play they were sure. doing that talks about trains. Model trains and trains back in, in nostalgic times basically brought people together, your relatives, you go to the train station. Yeah. It was the center of city life. Yeah. Well, po towns popped up around the train well, tracks. Well, basically, uh, back in the age of steam, every 100 miles, a uh, steam locomotive had to be rewatered, and every 200 miles, recoaled. Re oh. So, basically, railroad workers would support this, would live in the area, and in fact, and so towns would be built up. And in fact, the best part of town was where the railroad station sure. was, okay? And if that was all your, your best houses and best things were, yeah. then on the other side of the tracks, there was the everybody, the, the tracks, that was everybody else. Uh, and that's where that term comes from. They the live track. there from the other side, side of the, the tracks. tracks. But you yeah. are a, a watering spot or a coal spot, but you're special because your name is Central. Explain that. Right, because we were originally Central between uh, Asheville, uh, pardon, uh, 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 Charlotte, pardon me, and Atlanta. Yeah. Okay, and we had both a watering and a coaling station so there. It's a perfect place so to stop and sense. do all the things. Mm -hmm. right. are, and then are also you as smart the, as him? Not, not quite. He, he knows some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he, <laughs> he knows his history. I just know a little bit about what I've read. Okay. <laughs> but to an further answer your question, Central was the headquarters for the original railroad mm -hmm. that got commissioned in Congress to build a railroad from Charlotte to Atlanta. Right. That occurred in the uh, 1850s, 1870s. Wow, during the war. I mean, this is yes. just right cool before. history that's right here in our, our backyard. It's easy to go and learn, get the kids yeah. interested. Is there a cost for this? Uh, well, for the big kids, yeah. the ones over 10, yeah, we're going to ask them $8. Okay. But that ticket is good for both days. Oh, yeah. not. Oh, that's and then good. if you're under 10, and we don't measure in height, well, you just tell us you're under 10, <laughs> yeah. it's free for both days. And the money goes to help the museum. That's correct. correct. That does a in ton Central. of outreach programs for the area. So it's all, you're just giving back to your community. Well, thank you, you very much. Thank Thanks you for, for bringing this. This is very cool. We're all trained okay, lovers Okay, well, here. We, we'd like to present you with some things. Okay. Right, Megan, here is your certificate as an honorary member of our museum. Oh, give her a hat. Oh. And you I, get no, your. That's my hat, that's her <laughs> hat. Oh, her hat, okay. <laughs> so this picky, is your Jack. turn, give your hat away. Do for her. God's sake. And, thank you. And Jack is yours, and let me <laughs> tell you something. Now, people call this an engineer cap, but technically it's a, what's called the Cromer cap. 
And it was designed by a fellow by the name of George Cromer. At the turn of the century, he was an engineer up in Wisconsin. And he got tired, he would, you know, back in the age of steam, the engineer had to stick out and the wind would blow off his hat, okay? So he wanted a new hat, so he designed a hat and his wife, Ida, basically made him a prototype. She used the material used for mattresses. And so that's why you wear it, it's very oh. low. So when you stick your head out, it doesn't blow it doesn't off the top of your head. Now we, we know. We Quick break, to. we'll be right back.